Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video. Uh, today I'm going to be going over uh, something related to farming that I've been wondering about for a while, and that is uh, what is actually the best herb to farm in your herb patch. Now, for the longest time, I have been doing Renar seeds, and apparently that is just completely incorrect. It's not the most profitable seed, nor is it the most experienced. And uh, I went along and had a look at all the different seeds looked at which ones are the most profitable and which ones uh, give you the most experience and I'm going to share with you what I think is uh, the best seed to farm in your patch. Obviously you have to be mindful of what uh, level you're at and that will obviously be taken to, into account. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to toss this video a like and uh, let's get started. So now for what most of you guys are probably here for, what is the most profitable seed? So the original reason for this video is to compare it to the Renar seed, and that's one I've been doing so long and didn't even really think about why I was doing it. So the Renar seed gives about 7k in profit per seed, which isn't bad, but it really doesn't give almost any experience. Now if you compare it to any of these guys on the list, Toad Flax being a very good one, uh, Toad Flax gives 11.7k in profit per seed, plus a bit more experience, so that's already a much better option to go with. Uh, Lantidines are a lot more higher level, but they do provide quite a bit more experience than either of these other two. Plus, they give 11.1k, and Quorums, which are kind of a medium level uh, seed, they still give 10.7k in profit per seed. Now, keep in mind, I've taken an average of 5 herbs per seed and assume that none of them die, but it's constant across all seeds. All seeds have the same chance of growing and the same chance of giving an equal amount of yield. So it doesn't really matter too much. So next up, what seed gives the most experience? And this one is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but I'm going to take into account a couple popular seeds that people do kind of for experience. And kind of show you why it's not actually that great of an idea. So first up, Torso gives the most experience at about 200 per seed. And if you're not really worrying about money, I would just go ahead and do it. Because why not? 200 experience per seed times 5, 6, 7, 8 herbs. However many you get, it's actually quite a bit of experience. But currently, actually, you're losing money on it. About 2.8k you're going to be losing per seed. Now, of course, that is as of the current prices. Uh, dwarf weeds are 192 experience, and they actually provide 5.1k experience per seed. Probably a much better option right now. And uh, Snapdragons is another one people do pretty frequently uh, for experience. But uh, we're honestly, you're only given 1.4k experience per seed. So that's actually a very crappy option. Wouldn't really go with that at all. So now to kind of put those two together, what is the best overall seed? Because obviously just getting the most profit and the most experience on its own isn't really optimal. Uh, so here are three seeds that I picked that are, I think, pretty well-rounded. So the first on the list is Toad Flax because honestly you can just do it at a really low level. You only need 34 farming and it provides almost 12k GP per seed, which is the highest among any seed right now. And it's just something you can do at a really low level. Now one I would do for experience once you have a higher level farming is Lantatines because they give 150 experience per seed plus 9k GP per seed which is still really good and uh, quite a high amount comparative to a lot of the other seeds. And uh, Quorum provides 78 experience per seed and 10.7k GP per seed. So of course you always have to take into account what farming level you are and what you want to achieve. Obviously if you're just wanting to level up your farming as quick as possible. Just go for the highest level seed. But if you're looking to profit and you do want to get a little bit of money out of it, I would recommend these three seeds over any of the other ones. Toflox being an early game seed, Lantodyne being a late game seed, and Quorum being kind of a mid game seed. And the best way to make sure you are getting the most out of your farming is obviously to check them every once in a while. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, hope it was a little informative and useful. So now after kind of researching this, I'm going to be personally farming Toad Flax and maybe at a certain point I'll switch over to Quorms. Uh, one last thing worth noting is uh, Quorms and Lantidines are not going to sell as quickly, but of course you don't actually farm them that quickly, so it's not actually that big a deal. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one.